Thin Blue Line Radio, Monthly Roll Call, May. 1970, the 5th of May, Sergeant David James Hems, aged 30, Metropolitan Police, fatally injured in a motorcycle collision while travelling to duty. 28th of May, Detective Constable John Michael Brooke, aged 30, West Yorkshire Constabulary, killed in a road collision when his regional crime squad car crashed. 1971, the 31st of May, Police Constable William Rumney, aged 29, Cumbria Constabulary, fatally injured in a road collision while on motorcycle patrol duty. 1972, the 26th of May, Detective Constable Roger Gardner, aged 36, Kent County Constabulary, killed driving a police vehicle when he lost control and hit a tree. 1973, the 5th of May, Police Constable Michael A. Whiting, QPM, aged 21, Metropolitan Police, killed when dragged by a vehicle while trying to arrest the driver, posthumously awarded the Queen's Police Medal for Gallantry. 1974, the 10th of May, Constable Brian Edmund Bell, aged 27, Constable John Malcolm Ross, aged 40, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot at close range and from behind by terrorists while on patrol. 1975, the 10th of May, Constable Paul Radcliffe Gray, aged 20, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while on foot patrol. The 24th of May, Constable Noel Saunderson Davis, aged 22, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist booby trap bomb left in a stolen vehicle. 1976, the 15th of May, Sergeant James Hunter, aged 33, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead on mobile patrol when ambushed by terrorist gunmen. Sergeant Henry Francis Keyes, aged 27, Reserve Constable Thomas Henry Evans, aged 33, Reserve Constable Francis Joseph Kettles, aged 39, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist booby trap bomb when examining a crime scene. The 16th of May, Reserve Constable Kenneth David Nelson, aged 28, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead in a terrorist ambush while off duty at home. 22nd of May, Constable John W. A. McCambridge, aged 21, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead while off duty when ambushed by terrorist gunmen. 1977, the 16th of May, Police Constable Andrew Malcolm Douglas, aged 19, Metropolitan Police, killed in a motorcycle collision while returning home from duty. The 17th of May, Police Constable Derek James Bottomley, aged 44, Metropolitan Police, killed on a police driving course when the car he was in hit a lorry. 20th of May, Reserve Constable Robert George North, aged 52, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead by terrorist gunmen when off duty working as a school bus driver. The 21st of May, Sergeant, retired, Christopher Shaw, aged 63, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead by terrorist gunmen at his house. 1978, the 15th of May, Sergeant Elizabeth Burton, aged 40, Police Constable David Bullimant, aged 31, Police Constable Eric Charles Renshaw, aged 45, Police Constable Colin Ross, aged 33, Police Constable Lillian Sullivan, aged 41, West Yorkshire Metropolitan Police, all killed in a coach crash travelling to a Police Federation conference. Constable Thomas John Nesbitt, age 49, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed in a road collision driving a police vehicle which crashed. The 17th of May, Police Constable Christopher J. MacDonald, 
Aged 19, Nottinghamshire Constabulary, beaten with a brick and drowned when attempting to arrest a burglar. The 21st of May, Police Constable Brian Lawrence Phillips, aged 35, West Midlands Police, fatally injured when his patrol car was struck by another police car. Detective Sergeant Stuart Arthur Pinder, aged 42, Metropolitan Police, fatally injured in a road collision while on night CID duty. The 22nd of May, Police Constable David Barry, aged 22, Strathclyde Police, fatally injured in a motorcycle collision while travelling to work. 1979, the 1st of May, Reserve Constable retired Frederick J. Lutton, aged 39, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead by terrorist gunmen at his workplace. The 6th of May, Detective Constable Norman Samuel Prue, aged 29, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead when ambushed by terrorist gunmen as he sat in a car. The 20th of May, Reserve Constable David Stanley Ray, aged 50, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while attending church off duty. The 21st of May, Police Constable Malcolm John Fraser, aged 19, Metropolitan Police, killed in a motorcycle crash riding to the section house from duty. The 27th of May, Police Constable Kevin Kelleher, aged 23, Metropolitan Police, killed in a police van which crashed when in pursuit of a stolen car. 1981, the 6th of May, Constable Philip Charles Ellis, aged 33, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while investigating a report of suspicious activity. The 14th of May, Constable Samuel Vallely, aged 23, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by terrorists who fired a rocket propelled grenade at his vehicle. The 27th of May, Constable Mervyn Basil Robinson, aged 47, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead when ambushed by terrorist gunmen while off duty. The 31st of May, Reserve Constable Colin Patrick Dunlop, aged 30, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while on hospital security duty. 1982, the 2nd of May, Detective Constable John Sanford, aged 45, Greater Manchester Police, fatally bludgeoned investigating a complaint at Manchester Airport. The 4th of May, Constable Samuel Allen Victor Caskey, aged 21, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot at close range and fatally injured while on patrol by terrorist gunmen. 26th of May, Police Constable Robert Benjamin Mercer, aged 20, Metropolitan Police, fatally injured in a police car which crashed pursuing a stolen car. 1983, the 6th of May, Police Constable James William Byers, aged 35, Police Constable Norman Harold Jones, aged 53, Merseyside Police, both killed when struck by a car while at the scene of a motorway collision. The 14th of May, Police Constable John William Kaplan, aged 34, Metropolitan Police, collapsed at his station and died of heart failure after dealing with a violent prisoner. The 16th of May, Constable Gerard Cathcart, aged 49, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot in a terrorist ambush when returning home after duty. 26th of May, Reserve Constable Colin Herbert A. Carson, aged 31, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot at a security barrier by terrorists firing from a vehicle. The 31st of May, Constable William Atkinson, aged 49, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed in a road collision when returning home from duty. 1984, the 9th of May, Police Constable Neville Ivor Stackwood, aged 27, Suffolk Constabulary, found dead alongside his crashed motorcycle while he was on patrol. The 18th of May, Constable William Neville Gray, aged 25, Reserve Constable Trevor George Elliott, 
age 29, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured on mobile patrol when a terrorist landmine exploded. 1985, the 3rd of May, Special Constable, retired, William J. Heenan, aged 52, Ulster Special Constabulary, shot dead by terrorist gunmen outside his home. The 11th of May, Police Constable Ashley Ivor Birchell, aged 38, West Mercia Constabulary, collapsed and died while training his police dog. The 15th of May, Police Constable Gerald William Spencer, aged 37, Detective Constable Malcolm J. V. Wiltshire, aged 44, Hampshire Constabulary, killed together in an observation aircraft which crashed during trials. 20th of May, Inspector William James Wilson, aged 28, Constable David James Ronald Bird, aged 23, Constable Tracy Ellen Doak, aged 21, Reserve Constable Stephen George Rogers, aged 19, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed on escort duty by a terrorist bomb exploded at the roadside. 1986, the 22nd of May, Constable David Leslie McBride, aged 27, Constable William Lawrence Smythe, aged 24, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist bomb explosion in a field while on a search patrol. 1987, the 9th of May, Police Constable Ronan K. A. McCloskey, aged 25, Metropolitan Police, killed by a suspected drunk driver who drove off with him clinging to the car. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. The 14th of May, Sergeant Barry Albert Manakey, aged 39, Metropolitan Police, killed travelling home from duty on a motorcycle which was struck by a car. 1989, the 13th of May, Police Constable Edward James Walton, aged 34, Central Scotland Police killed in a road traffic collision while observer in a patrol van. The 21st of May, Police Constable Nigel John Heap, aged 32, Greater Manchester Police, fatally injured when kicked by a horse in the Forces Stables. 1990, the 21st of May, Police Constable Ian William Frank Parsons, aged 30, Devon and Cornwall Constabulary, killed in a road collision when his motorcycle collided with two cars. 1991, the 2nd of May, Sergeant Stephen Gillespie, age 31, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by terrorists firing a rocket-propelled grenade at his vehicle. The 13th of May, Reserve Constable, retired, Robert James Orr, aged 56, Royal Ulster Constabulary, Killed by a terrorist under car booby trap bomb. The 17th of May, Reserve Constable Douglas Carruthers, aged 41, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist under car booby trap bomb while off duty at home. The 27th of May, Constable Edward Wilson Spence, aged 26, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot on foot patrol when attacked by terrorist gunmen. 1992, the 7th of May, Special Constable Sean Oxford, aged 21, Dorset Police, collapsed and died during warm-up exercises in preparation for self-defence training. 1993, the 14th of May, Reserve Constable Norman Martin, aged 49, Royal Ulster Constabulary, collapsed and died on duty at Tennant Street Police Station. The 18th of May, Police Constable Alexander Gordon Doe, aged 44, Kent County Constabulary, killed on an advanced motorcycle course when his machine crashed. 27th of May, Police Constable Kevin John Clark, aged 23, Suffolk Constabulary, killed in a road traffic collision while going off duty. 1994, the 13th of May, civilian staff Frederick Anthony, aged 38, Royal Ulster Constabulary, an RUC station cleaner killed by a terrorist undercar booby trap bomb. The 25th of May, 
Police Constable Kenneth Samuel M. Wilkie, age 39, Strathclyde Police, collapsed on duty and died in hospital of heart failure. 1995, the 4th of May, Constable Alan George Thompson, age 26, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a road traffic collision while on mobile patrol. The 10th of May, Police Constable Sandra Jane Edwards, aged 28, South Yorkshire Police, fatally injured when her traffic car crashed while pursuing a stolen car. The 24th of May, Police Constable Martin Gerrard, aged 35, Thames Valley Police, killed in a road traffic collision while on motorcycle refresher training. The 30th of May, Police Constable Melanie Igo, aged 28, Strathclyde Police, killed in a road collision when on a police motorcycle training course. 1996, the 16th of May, Sergeant Philip Henry Singleton, aged 40, Wiltshire Constabulary, collapsed and died of heart failure in his office at the police station. Police Constable Stephen Wilson, aged 37, Dorset Police, fatally injured in a motorcycle collision while reporting for night duty. 1997, the 9th of May, Constable Darren Robert Bradshaw, aged 24, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while off duty in a public bar. The 20th of May, Police Constable John Richard Fitton, age 53, Derbyshire Constabulary, fatally injured when hit by a vehicle while cycling home from work. The 21st of May, Police Constable Keith Madison, aged 46, Durham Constabulary, collapsed and died chasing two suspects from a stolen vehicle. 1998, the 6th of May, Police Constable John Anthony Burnell, aged 34, West Mercia Constabulary, killed in a road collision while on a motorcycle training course. 28th of May, Police Constable David Hayden Hopkins, age 41, West Mercia Constabulary, fatally injured in a collision with a car while acting as an outrider for a cycle race. 1999, the 7th of May, Police Constable Nigel Anthony Heathcote, aged 30, Cheshire Constabulary, killed when his crime car crashed responding to an emergency call. The 17th of May, Police Constable Stephen Jones, aged 34, Avon and Somerset Constabulary, killed when struck by a stolen vehicle he was attempting to stop. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. 2000. The 23rd of May, Police Constable Darren Wayne Riley, aged 25, Avon and Somerset Constabulary, killed in a road collision when his car crashed while travelling to duty. 2001, 25th of May, Inspector Alan Douglas Jameson, aged 37, Metropolitan Police, killed in a road traffic collision while cycling home from duty. 2002, the 10th of May, Police Constable Nicholas John Hill, aged 27, Metropolitan Police, fatally injured in a motorcycle collision while reporting for duty. 2004, the 21st of May, Detective Constable Michael Swindles, QGM, aged 44, West Midlands Police, stabbed to death attempting to arrest a violent suspect armed with a knife, posthumously awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal, and a memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. 2006, the 25th of May, Police Constable Ryan Michael Hunt, aged 31, West Midlands Police, killed in a road collision while working on an investigation in South Yorkshire. 2007, the 6th of May, Police Constable Richard Gray, aged 43, West Mercia Constabulary, fatally shot attempting to arrest a gunman holding two officers hostage. He was posthumously awarded a Queen's Commendation for brave conduct. 2010, the 17th of May, Constable Gareth Gallagher, aged 22, Police Service of Northern Ireland, 
died after his car was involved in a road traffic accident the previous evening near Ballymagory while travelling to duty at Straban. 2011, the 4th of May, Police Constable Ian Paul Swaddling, aged 34, Metropolitan Police, died when his motorcycle crashed near Hemel Hempstead while travelling home in the late evening from duty at Harrow. The 14th of May, Police Constable Scott Eastwood Smith, aged 29, Metropolitan Police, fatally injured while travelling to report for night duty at Chiswick when his motorcycle was in a collision with a car at Twickenham. 2013, the 3rd of May, Sergeant Ian Harmon, aged 47, Metropolitan Police, died of a heart attack while at his desk in the Merton Park and Cannon Hill Safer Neighbourhoods team base. 2014, the 16th of May, Police Constable Mark Murta, Police Service of Scotland, killed in a motorcycle collision with a bus when travelling to duty at Galashields Police Office. The 31st of May, Police Constable Rhiannid Hitchcock, aged 29, Police Service of Scotland, who took her own life while on duty in a lower police office. 2016, the 3rd of May, Police Constable Douglas Wiggins, aged 55, Police Service of Scotland, died in hospital after collapsing the previous day when attending an emergency call. 2019, the 1st of May, Sergeant Colin Michael Fox, aged 36, Metropolitan Police, collapsed and failed to regain consciousness while on duty in Richmond Park, dying the same day. Thanks for listening to Thin Blue Line Radio's monthly roll call. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, where you can find details of our upcoming Spotlight podcast, where we focus on one particular fallen officer. There's also our Through the Decades podcast, where we examine older cases from years gone by. You can also go to our website, thinbluelineradio.com, where you can learn more about us and what motivates us to promote the stories of fallen officers. There are also links to various welfare groups, and you can catch up with any podcasts you may have missed. If you'd like to contribute in any way, or if you're a family member wanting to be involved in us paying tribute, we'd love to hear from you. You can message us through Twitter or Facebook, or email askus at thinbluelineradio.com.